everyone and welcome to Norris Cove or welcome back. I'm Yoshida and today we are here again for another paycheck to paycheck or weekly check-in for me. So if that is something that you would be interested in, stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So y'all, I hate to report <laughs> that it is a another week so that may not go as well or as planned last week i guess it made it 300 let me look in my everyday planner to see what we made i said i would update you guys um yeah Just briefly looking at it, it was four, five, I ended up making about 700. I thought I wrote the total down, but it ended up being like 700. But again, I had bills to pay. Shopify didn't do too bad. We got a sale or two from Etsy. I need to get on like a good schedule with my Etsy and my Shopify. Right now I have my payments coming like daily from both of them because I need it. <laughs> I really need it. But I'm gonna switch it to a week once I get a little bit of a head. So let's hop right on in. This is week four or week three? No, last week was week three. So we are the 20th to the 27. And one, two, three, four, yep. Week four. So, y'all, this week, again, it looks a little uh, surprising, but I'm going to make it work. Well, it's going to work, but I will say this. I just actually came back from the bank, and I took some money out of my sinking funds to pay the bills. Um, I should have showed you guys this before I zoomed in, but the majority of these bills are due at the beginning of the week. I don't have enough to cover them. So that's the reason why I had to go on my sinking funds. And I just don't have enough. I just don't have enough. Um, so first, let's just write down here. We'll just get into all of my issues. You know. Um, so already I know that with miscellaneous, which is shop or Etsy, um, it's going to be about, I don't know, I'm going to put 60. Shopify. Hmm. Last week we didn't do too bad. I'm just gonna put another 60 here for Shopify and then hair. I'm I'm gonna put 650. I'm gonna go a little higher than last week. So let's do a little math. That's seven hundred and seventy dollars for the week. So this week we have our car note, which is due today actually. And they usually take it out at night. You guys, I just didn't have the money. And I'll tell you a mistake that I made. <clears throat> Remember a couple of weeks ago, I said that um, Shopify tried to get their money early and I was gonna pay it when it was due, well, I didn't. So they came and got it yesterday. And I'm like, oh my God. That was like my car note money. So that was that. Um, I paid my loan today. Now, what I have done is I put a little extra on this loan because it was only like $600 left on this loan. I'm trying to get this loan paid off, never to return because this is a big chunk of money. The loan is $96. I gave them $83 today, but I plan to give them another $20, but I gave them $50 last week so i'm paying extra on it to knock the loan down but i gave them 83 dollars today and some change to give it an even number so like there's a 20 so let's say it's 520 now so i want to give them 20 later on in the week but for right now i'll just leave the 83 just in case i don't uh t-mobile is due y'all tomorrow but i made a payment arrangement so that's due like on the 29th <sighs> don't have it and I did see where Insta Ink came out, and Insta Ink came out like on the 15th. That was last week. Um, there is something else 
I have car insurance due on the 27th. And then I paid some credit card bills last week. So I'm going to add them here. Let me see. Um, Barclays. I ended up giving Barclays 100 I believe. And then, yeah, Barclays got 100 and then Citibank got 40 So, but it's still pending. So I'm assuming that it's coming out this week. So I'm just going to add it to this week. But um, because, again, Shopify took my money. And so that was actually part of it, too. I just didn't have it. How about that? Didn't have it. Uh, car insurance is two thirteen thirty three. So I'm going to go ahead and put down those bills from last week because I'm just waiting on them to clear because the 18th was Saturday. Barclays is due on a Saturday and Citibank is due, I mean, excuse me, 18th. Citibank is due on the 17th. So I paid both those bills on Friday, but I guess by it being a weekend, they won't hit till this week. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them over here because this is when they'll be coming out. <clears throat> like I said, I don't know. I'm like, am I doing something wrong? Like, am I doing my budgeting wrong? I, I don't know. I'm just trying to still figure it out. I think I'm just, I don't have all the answers, okay? Um, this would be the 21st, because it normally comes out on a Tuesday if I pay it on a Friday. So I'm just including that in here because it's really bothering me um, that it's just lingering like that. And let's see what we have. A quick, I don't know what I put, so we're going to start over. So we have a total of, oh, I forgot booth rent. Let me write that down. Now, I am sick of paying bills. I, I know everybody is, but I'm really sick. Oh, and then I just noticed I forgot Wayfair. And then my son's birthday is Sunday. Oh, my God. Let's see. I'm just looking at numbers and just happened to see that. So let me add this 200. <sighs> Booth rent is due on the 25th. And then I see I have Wayfair. And actually, I ordered like some patio furniture from Wayfair, uh, maybe the middle of the summer. And it's like on a promotional kind of thing, but I have no interest for like six months. But I really want to pay that off. It wasn't but $300, so I'm going to put down 50 for them because I really want to get this paid off. So we're at eight sixty-seven ninety-three. So this is it, y'all. So I'm actually minus in the negative again. <laughs> I'm in the negative again. That's ninety-seven dollars and ninety-three cents. How does this keep happening? I mean, for one, it's just not there, okay? I'm just going to be real with you. It's just not there. Like, this really should have came out, like, last week, but it just didn't work that way. And like I said, I was behind. So, I actually should have put um, Shopify here as well because they got their money, but actually Shopify came out this week. So, and that's another thing. I need a buffer for Shopify because I don't really know. I can go in and look and it will give me a guesstimate, but I still need a buffer for Shopify. So I'm just not gonna, there's nothing to give over here. Not right at this moment. So for notes, um, I'm gonna put that it's my uh, son's birthday. So of course he's a boy. So, you know, he wants a game or something like that. He's 15 though, so he likes clothes. Um, also, and you know what you guys, I may can take off car insurance because that is a Sunday and it's gonna come out on Monday, but I'm gonna leave it here on this week because, uh, let me take that off. Let me, um, but I still need some of the money in there because it's gonna come out on Monday. So I'm gonna leave it like it is. Um, also, I wanna make some goals for myself this week and one of those goals, I was thinking about this all day like, just trying to figure out like what am I doing wrong with my budget what am I doing wrong with my money um even though I'm not making a lot um I did recognize some things like 
I need to do more promoting of my business. I need to like really focus and like get my websites together and list everything correctly and move things to where they need to be and just make everything really more accessible. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, just make things easy to find, especially for my budgeters. I want them to be able to go to my website and go right to what they want, especially if they don't want um, stickers or anything like that. So first goal is to track my spending. Um, I have a spending tracker in my everyday planner, but I have barely, only thing I come in my everyday planner for now is for my salon schedule. But I want to get back into tracking my spending and color coding it because I think I'm doing good, but obviously I'm not. <laughs> so this is old. As y'all can see, this is from June. I was tracking pretty heavily in June up until the beginning of August. So I need to get back on that. <clears throat> also track my, um, like I said, track my spending. And I also want to, it's another goal I wanted to do. Um, time block oh that's not it i made a mistake um i want to promote my business more i just don't like to be salesy but uh since you broke <laughs> i don't have a choice i'm broke so i mean really i gotta do more so right now those are gonna be my top two goals for the week is to track my spending and let me also add spend less spend less and the only thing i was coming from the bank and i was like what am i doing wrong i was just trying to figure out like where did i go wrong with this like you know i was saving really good there for a moment but where did i go wrong what am i doing wrong and i know a lot of people say well you can't blame yourself you know you, you know, you're on a low income or whatever. And I totally get that, but it's something not right. <laughs> you know, something's not right. And I said, this always happens where I have to go into my savings. Anytime I get a little bit of savings, it seems like I have to go into it um, and I can just never save. So what's going on? What am I doing wrong? And the only thing, like I said, I need to track my spending. I said, I did not spend frivolously during the month at least to my knowledge um but i looked at i do a lot of eating out so i need to stop that um again go back to tracking my spending that way i can see where this money is going because i i, I really need to just start from scratch like with my budget tracking I, like I always say, and I give advice to others, start with tracking your spending and, you know, your income. And that way you can kind of see where your money is going, what you have to spend. So I'm just going to be starting from square one. I still have money in my envelopes, but I won't be contributing a whole, whole lot because I just don't have it. And especially if I have to go back and get it, it doesn't make sense. If I have to go back and get the money I just put in, something's not adding up. So I'm going to get off of my little soapbox. Um, I'm working on an order. Let me show you guys. I'm working on a 100 envelope order. So I wanted to show y'all my process, but um, my process is it takes me a day to cut the envelopes. And not necessarily a day, but a couple of hours um, to cut the envelopes. Then I take a day to laminate them. Um, so I'm almost done with this and I got a few more to cut. It takes me a day to laminate and then the next day I add the numbers and ship out. And it just depends on my schedule. So it's about a three to four day process. And then you guys, let me show you what I have coming. Just a little sneak peek. I'm gonna be doing some Gucci's and some Gucci 100 envelopes and then I'll be doing the cash envelopes, I'm gonna finally list those. So I'm gonna try to get up my business planner um, and do a video on that because I haven't done that in a while. So that way I can show y'all my process. And that's where I'm gonna go back to kind of sneaking my way back into planning because when I was planning, I was a little more on top of my stuff. And so, yeah, that's that. So thank you all so much for listening to my ramble. Thank you for, you know, watching today. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more videos like this from me, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.